Hey guys, Vic Heroes with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, California Properties here in downtown Los Angeles, and I want to talk about the National Association of Realtors Commission lawsuit. Now, my phone blew up this weekend. Text messages, DMs, even emails. People asking me, what's going on? How does this affect us? Does this affect me at all, right? So I wanna clear up three things for you so you're in the know. Number one, the NAR lawsuit is gonna change the way sellers and listing agents advertise the buyer's agent's commissions in the MLS. And that's it. That's really it. It's not going to eliminate buyer's agent's commissions. It's just changing the way it's advertised. As a matter of fact, it can't be advertised at all in the MLS because of steering purposes. If you're not sure what steering is, that's a buyer's agent saying, well, you know, this house may be suiting your needs better, but this one pays me more commission. So the buyer's agent, the unscrupulous buyer's agent is going to take their clients to the one that pays them more money rather than the property that best fits the family. Does that make sense? So that's the steering aspect of it. Oh, and by the way, it's business as usual for now because the judges haven't actually accepted this settlement. And if they do, we anticipate the changes to come to MLS starting mid to late July of 2024. So right now, business as usual, okay? Number two, I wanna make sure that you guys are aware because this was the number one question in my text messages and my DMs from my friends and family and clients. Our house price is gonna drop. The short answer is no, they're not. All along the West Coast, from Southern California to Seattle, way in the Pacific Northwest, this is the place to be at. Let's keep it real, guys. West Coast, best coast. Why do I say that? Well, look it. I have friends and family in New York City right now, and they're in 42 degree weather, where we just had a rainbow on Friday. Sunny, 72 degree weather, clean air, it's a beautiful place to live. Bottom line is, more people want to live here and buy in Southern California than there are people who are willing to sell. What does that mean? Supply and demand 101. Supply is low, 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 low. Demand is high, 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 high. That means prices are going to stay high. And by the way, if a seller is able to save themselves half a percentage point or even a full percentage point on commissions, do you really think the sellers are going to pass that savings along to you, the buyer? <laughs> That's not the case, right? Human nature is when we buy something, we want the lowest price. And when we sell something, we want what? The highest price, okay? So no, home prices are not gonna be dropping because of this. And the third thing I wanna make sure you're aware of is, are buyer's agents going away? No, that's not the case either. Buyer's agents are here to stay. Let me tell you why. Have you ever heard of a for sale by owner? Those people who want to sell their pieces of property, but they don't want to hire a broker or an agent or a professional. They want to do it all themselves, right? Because they want to save on the commission. Well, did you know that majority of for sale by owners, close to 93% of for sale by owners end up hiring a listing broker within 90 days of going for sale by owner because they just don't know what they're doing. They don't have the time for it and they don't have the legal expertise, they don't have the forms, they don't have the contracts, and they're open to a massive liability lawsuit. And especially here in California, the most litigious state in the entire country, those sellers don't wanna take the risk of doing the biggest transaction of their lives and not having protection. So imagine a whole just you know sea full of buyers thinking they're gonna go out there and write their contracts on a cocktail napkin and thinking that they're gonna be protected on the biggest transaction of their life? That's not gonna happen, okay? Now, in the commercial real estate world, there is no MLS, and there is no requirement for the commercial sellers to pay a commercial buyer's agent, but guess what? They gladly do, because the liability is so great, they don't wanna take on the responsibility of going down that path, a very dangerous path, by doing all this legal work, all this inspections, reports, disclosures, and stuff on themselves, and not having some representation. So. Quickly, number one, it changes the way the buyer's agent commission is advertised in MLS. Number two, our home price is gonna drop. No, they're not. And number three, are buyer's agents going away? No, they're not. They're still gonna get paid by sellers and sometimes buyers. You may even have to pay a little bit of your buyer's agent's commission because, hey, you need the protection. You need the, the liability umbrella to keep you away from any lawsuit. And that's what we know about the NAR lawsuit right now. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to message me right here and let's talk about it. Thanks so much. See you next time.